It's not a secret that I absolutely love my matcha. In today's video, I'm going to share four of my favorite matcha recipes. Matcha is made from a green tea leaf and contains 10 times more antioxidants than regular green tea. It has amazing health benefits as increased focus, high antioxidants, and more sustainable energy without the crash. Whatever recipe you're making, the making of matcha always start with the basics. So let me show you how to make a matcha americano. You heat up water until 80 degrees Celsius or 175 Fahrenheit. It is important you don't use boiling water because it will burn the matcha and it will actually affect the taste. After that, I'm adding two grams of matcha powder through a sifter. This way you get rid of all the clumps. Then add about 70 milliliter warm water and use a bamboo whisk to whisk it up and down. Move your wrist slowly up and down in a zigzag motion. I often see many people using electric frothers and even though it kind of works, it doesn't blend your matcha properly or give your matcha this beautiful froth. It is important to use a high quality matcha for your drinks. You can see this from the vibrant color and the non-bitter taste. Of course, I'm using my own brand Nekohama. And there you go, super simple and quick. Your matcha americano is ready. Probably the most popular way of drinking matcha is a matcha latte. I personally love mine iced, so let me show you how to make an iced matcha latte. The beginning steps are the same as an americano. You start adding a splash of warm water first, and this way the powder will blend properly. Normally people add this to a cup of milk, but I find it sometimes the milk flavor kind of overpowers, so I decide to add a little bit more cold water to the matcha. The drink becomes more half matcha and half milk, rather than a full cup of milk. My plant-based milk of preference is oat milk. I really feel the sweetness from the oat milk and the matcha combines really well. I add about 3 quarter cup of oat milk and I add the matcha mixture on top. And ta-da, your iced matcha latte is ready. The third recipe is this strawberry matcha latte. We're slowly getting into spring and I can't wait to start incorporating delicious fruits into my drinks. You start off with blending your favorite milk with two to three strawberries in a blender and blend it until it's smooth. In the meantime, you make your matcha mixture again by adding two scoops to the bowl, add a splash of warm water and whisk gently up and down. I will promise you, the more you do it, the easier it will get and you will really see that you can make a matcha within 60 seconds. Pour the strawberry milk over ice and add the matcha on top. You can be creative here and you can also make banana milk or raspberry milk or anything you like. Look at this gorgeous, delicious strawberry matcha latte. Then the fourth drink is one of my favorites. I call it the matcha sweet cortado. It's a combination I came up with myself after drinking matcha daily for years. You start off adding oat milk to a frother and then you add a splash of maple syrup and froth it all together. You start making your regular matcha. Sometimes I like to add a little bit more powder for this so it becomes more of a matcha espresso shot. You also get a little bit more caffeine in it and it really is a pick-me-up drink. I whisk it up with warm water and I add it to a glass or a cup. Then I grab the foam and with a big spoon, I just scoop off the sweet foam and I add it to the matcha. This way, you really taste the matcha when you drink it, but you do get this delicious hint of sweetness from the foam. I love everything about it. The taste, the texture, just like a coffee cortado. This drink is an amazing, simple and delicious drink. It is also really delicious pouring it over ice if you feel more like a cold drink. A lot of the frothers have a cold and a hot function on it actually. So these are my four favorite matchas. I hope you enjoyed these recipes. If you have any questions about matcha, pop them down below or head over to nekohama.co where we have tons of educational content and recipes. 
Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys very soon.